Hello guys, how are you all? Hope you all are doing fine. So today we're going to recap a few things. We're going to talk about chemical equations and its equilibrium. Okay, now for every chemical reaction, you have the reactants and also the products, huh? reactant and product. So whatever products you get are depending solely on the reactants. Okay, now in this case, let's talk about a simple reaction. Okay, we use calcium carbonate, which is a solid. And I'm going to react this with nitric acid, HNO3, which is aqueous. And I'm going to get a few things. Since it's a carbonate, for our level, since it's a carbonate, you're going to get, once again, you're going to get carbon dioxide plus water. So this huge gap here is actually occupied by a salt. Now, I want to know what salt is made. Okay, what salt is made? And that's an easy way to find it out. Okay, for every chemical compound, for every chemical compound, you have a head and you have a tail. That means you have a positive part, you have a negative part. Okay, so in this case, we are using an alkaline, Okay, an alkaline or a base here, and so an acid. So this is ionic, uh, ionic because you have uh, in calcium carbonate, you have calcium, which is metal, and CO3, which is a non-metal. Likewise, hydrogen, even though it's a non-metal, it's in group one. Okay, it's considered metallic. And also you have NO3, which is a totally non-metallic compound here. So the, the charges cancel out. Okay, so what I will do is, like I said, every compound has two parts, right? So I break it down into the head and tail. Head and tail. Now, in this case, I'm using calcium carbonate. I have calcium carbonate. The head of calcium carbonate is calcium, which comes in a charge of 2 plus, and tail, which comes in a charge of CO3 to negative. Now, likewise, for the acid, I have the tail, which is a positive H plus, and also NO3 negative. Okay, now, how I'm going to do it? I'm going to give you a very big hint, a very big hint. How? Always take the alkaline head and combine it with the acid tail. Alkaline head, acid tail. Remember this, alkaline head. And now I'm going to combine it with acid tail. Now, from the list above here, I already mentioned that alkaline head and acid head, alkaline tail and acid tail. So what I want here is alkaline head and acid tail. So my alkaline head is Ca2+, and my uh, acid tail and my acetyl is NO3 negative. Okay, NO3 negative. Okay, so I have two parts of uh, ion ring. So I want to combine them. So what do I do? So I need these charges to cancel out. Okay, that's an easy way to do it. Now imagine all of these charges here that I'm highlighting in yellow are keys. Okay, keys. So calcium is a single person and NO3 is a couple. I don't want to disturb a couple. The couple is very happy. I don't want to disturb them. Okay. So these two decided to exchange houses. Okay. So whatever negative part, the negative tail, right, is inverse to the positive charge. Now, how do we do it? Calcium is here. Calcium is a gentleman. This dude open up the gate. He lets the NO3 to enter the house and he shuts the gate and gives the couple the key. The two plus, right? It comes down here. Okay. Now, these charges now balance out. Like every other ionic compound, the charge must equal to zero because calcium is two plus and I need two of the nitrate ions to neutralize the number here. 
they cancel out each other. Okay, now automatically I already know what my salt is now. Okay, what my salt is. So I'm going to write my salt name now. My salt I'm going to get is calcium, open bracket, open the gate, allow the NO3 to enter, then close the gate and give the key to nitrate. Okay. But that's not all. We want to talk about equilibrium as well. Equilibrium means when a product and reactant reacts together, okay, when a reactant reacts, two reactant reacts, I have products. This is my products. But whatever amount of elements I have on my left-hand side must equal to my right-hand side. Now, uh, balancing out equations also will give me ratios, which will be very, very useful in calculation. So to help you with this, what I will do is, I'll teach you how to balance the equation, okay? To balance the equation. So an equation consists of two parts, the left-hand side reaction and right-hand side reaction. Marks will be given for the left-hand side and right-hand side, okay? So if it's two marks, left-hand side one mark, right-hand side one, uh, one mark. So you got two marks for balancing out equation. And since it's a balancing out equation, you have to put your uh, coefficients properly. Coefficients are the big numbers that you'll see in a short while. So I have my left hand side and my right hand side. Okay, left hand side and right hand side. So what do I do is I begin to break down whatever elements I have. Okay, even before I do that, I want to identify which of the uh, compounds here or ions here that appears twice as a couple, okay? In this case, I find NO3. Now, since NO3 is a very happy couple, I don't want to split them, okay? If you split them, then balancing out equations also going to become nightmare. You will get very big numbers, and then you have to do go back and forth, back and forth. It is like a very, very ugly divorce. I don't want an ugly divorce, okay? I don't want an ugly divorce. So what do I do? I maintain the nitrate as a couple. Okay. So what do I do is I write down my elements, calcium, carbon. Why? Uh, you might ask, why the CO3 I never disturb? Okay. Why now disturb CO3? If you look carefully at CO3, it's CO3 here and it becomes CO2. Something is missing. So it's not identical. Left-hand side, right-hand side, nothing identical except for NO3. NO3 remains as a couple. Only thing, the number of couples increase on the, on the right-hand side. That's what we're going to do the balancing for. Okay. And then I have oxygen, hydrogen. And remember, the couple, I don't disturb. Likewise, whatever I can find on my left-hand side, I can find on my right-hand side also. Only then you can call it an equilibrium. Oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrate. Okay. So calcium, I have one on this side. I have carbon, one on this side. Oxygen, I have three. Hydrogen, I have one. And nitrate, I have. Not two, two is on the right hand side. I also only have one on my left hand side. So on the right hand side, I have calcium one, carbon one, oxygen. I have three in total. Why three in total? I have two here and one here. Okay. Under the carbon dioxide, I have two, and in the water, I have one. Okay. So oxygen here also, I have three. Hydrogen, I have two, and NO3, I have two. Why NO3, I have two is because of the subscripts, okay? Hydrogen, I have two here, is telling I got two hyd hydrogens there, and this subscript also is telling me I got two nitrate there, okay? Now, I need to do something to balance the numbers here, left and right-hand side, left and right-hand side. I need to balance out the numbers. So what do I do is I... 
we'll try to find a factor of coefficient so that both sides equals. Okay. So what do I do is most of the numbers look the same. I just need to balance out the hydrogen and nitrate because here I have hydrogen got two here, nitrate I have two here. So the only changes I'm going to do is on the left hand side, which is a two and a two here. So what I do is I put a two here, which means two times hydrogen, two times nitrate. Two times hydrogen, two times nitrate. So now I have my new numbers. Hydrogen also two, nitrate also two. So if you look at the numbers now, everything is equal. Calcium, both sides, I have one. My carbon is also, I have one. Oxygen, I have three. Hydrogens, I have two left and right hand side after balancing. And then nitrates also, I have two. So this is balanced. Okay, this is already balanced. Okay, now let's try another one. Okay, let's try another one. So this time we'll use uh, hydroxide. Just now I use uh, carbonate, right? So now I use a hydroxide. Okay, let's use the simplest one now, not to make it confusing. Okay, I have sodium hydroxide, which is an aqueous solution, plus with sulfuric acid, which is also an aqueous solution. And this time I only have two products. One is salt and also another one, water. Carbonates, I'll have three products. Carbonates, I have three products. Carbonates, I have carbon dioxide, I have salt, and I have water. Okay, or I put in order salt, carbon dioxide, and water. In this case, I only will have salt and water. Okay, now, like I said just now, if you recall, every compound has a head and the tail. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to talk about deducing what my salt is. Okay, so I'll take, I'll write down here, I'll climb head. Plus, Acetyl, I should get a salt. Now take note of how I'm going to write in color codes, huh? S A L T. So that means I'm going to take half from alkaline head and half from acetyl. And then I'm going to get water. Yeah, I'm going to get water. So I need to deduce what salt I get. So in this case, if you see, I'm going to write the head. I'll claim I'm going to write the head and tail here. So I'm going to write the alkaline's one. Alkaline's head is Na plus because Na comes from group one. And then I have a hydroxyl here. Negative. The charges cancel out each other. Now I also have acid. In this case, I have two hydrogen ions. This one we have to deal with it later. Huh? And then also SO4, two negative. The two hydrogen plus is needed to neutralize that SO4, two negative to cancel out the charges. Okay. So like I said, alkaline head, acetyl. So I take the alkaline head and acid tail. So I write it down again. So now I'm, my salt, this is what my salt is going to look like. Salt. So I have my sodium, which is a plus, and 
SO4 to negative. So remember, sodium is a single person, metals are the single ones, and SO4 to negative is a very happy couple. I don't want to disturb them. So they exchange the house keys. Okay, how are they going to exchange? First of all, let's talk about sodium, the gentleman. The sodium is here. And now he receives the key from sulfate first. Okay. And then what sodium does is sodium opens up the door, ushers in the sulfate, and then he gently closes the door behind. And this is how it will look like. Okay. Now, I'm showing you the brackets here is to exhibit why the charges is uh, like this. In reality, we don't put the brackets. Okay, we don't put the brackets because the charges are so different here. Na will come to decide for SO4. And now I have a salt already. Okay, this is what we call as sodium sulfate. Okay, sodium sulfate. Now, what I do with sodium sulfate is, I write it down here. Sodium sulfate, my salt. Sodium sulfate. Now, I need to balance out the equation. Okay, I need to balance out the equation. So now this is where we'll do our balancing. Huh? Like we said just now, I have my left-hand side and right-hand side. For this equation, I don't think so. You need to put the brackets. It's because the charges are different. Since sodium is from group one, group one charge will come to SO4. So I don't put the one there. If you put the one there, it's going to look like this. If you accidentally put a sodium salt, sodium starts there, it's going to look like this. It doesn't make sense. Okay, it doesn't make sense. It cannot be SO4, SO41. You see, even when I want to mention it, it's a bit awkward. So I don't mention it as SO41 or SO41. Okay, now I need to balance out the equation really now. Okay, so I have my left hand side, my right hand side. And before I list out anything, I want to see, is there any happy couples there that stay strong till the very end? God, my sulfate. Okay, so now I identified them ready. I'm going to write down all of the things I can find on my left-hand side and right-hand side. So OH here, I won't put it as a couple because OH changes. The only thing that I can find is similar from the left-hand side and right-hand side is sodium. And also my sulfate. This, which comes as a couple. Okay, so I write down sodium, oxygen, so I find oxygen here, hydrogen, and SO4. On the same, on the right hand side, I must find back sodium, must find oxygen, find back hydrogen, and find back SO4, which is the happy couple. So how many sodium I have here? One. How many oxygen I also have? One. Okay, I also have one. My hydrogen. I have three now. My hydrogen. Okay, I have three. One here, two here. And my SO4, I have one. Okay. On my right hand side, I need to balance out also. So I have one sodium. Now I have two sodium. Two sodium. Oxygen, I have roughly about one here. Okay. Hydrogen, I have two. And sodium, I and SO4, I have one. So I somehow need to balance out this equation. Okay, I need to balance that equation. So what do I do is, I see the easiest one I can balance. Okay, 
I have the so I have the sodium two here. Okay, the sodium two there. So what do I do is I add a two here. Okay, I add a two here. So what happens is this two times N A, two times O, and two times H. Okay, now if I do this, if I do this, ultimately my number of sodium now I times by two, oxygen I times by two, and now hydrogen number in total, I have three here, right? Three here. I put a two here already. Now my hydrogen number will become four. Two times one, then I have another two hydrogen here. And SO4 remains. Okay. Now, on this side, I need to balance out some things here. I need to balance out. Okay. Now, because on this side, I have two oxygen here, two oxygen, I add a two here. So when I add a two there, what automatically happens is I times this by two, I times this by two. Okay. So now my grand total will be balanced. Lah. How? Two, two, four, one. This is two, two, four, one. So both are the same left hand side, right hand side. Numbers are equal. So we call it as balance. Okay, one last one. One last one. Okay, one last one. See whether you can follow or not. The last one, I want to talk about, about my carbonate. Okay, my carbonate. This time I am reacting carbonate with another assay. It's slightly harder. Slightly harder. Okay. Calcium carbonate plus with sulfuric acid. Now, remember, I said carbonate. I have three products. I have a salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. Okay. Once again, I have the heads. I have the tails. So, Watch the color coding here. Yeah? So I have calcium 2 plus CO3, which is 2 negative. And then I have 2 hydrogen, which I need to balance out. And SO4, the sulfate, which is 2 negative. So I need to get a salt. What do I do? Alkaline H. Plus with acetyl, I'll get a salt. Once again, please take note of the color codes. I have half and half here. My alkaline heat now is calcium, 2 plus, and my acetyl is SO42 negative. Okay. Now, I need to find out what salt do I get, right? Look at the charges. This time, it's a very equal exchange. Calcium don't have to open the door and close the door. Okay, Calcium don't have to open the door and close the door. Almost similar like sodium, hydroxide, and also sulfuric acid. I showed you the bracket just now, just to show you, okay, this is how the charges exchange. So now this is how the charges will exchange here. I need to get a salt. So my salt is... Calcium, sorry, with color codes, I have calcium and SO4. Okay, it is balanced already, and now I can put in my salt here. So, calcium sulfate, calcium. 
sulfate. Okay, now, next what I want to do is, I want to balance these guys out. I need to balance him out. So always check whether your equation is balanced or not, whether it is in equilibrium. Okay, so I have my left-hand side and I have my right-hand side. Okay. So look back at all the things which is found before you find, look at which couples have not changed. Look at which couples have not changed. So the only thing that I haven't changed here is SO4, which is your sulfate. I can find on my left-hand side on my sulfuric acid and on my right-hand side, I can find it on my calcium sulfate. Okay, so now I can list down all of the elements of compounds, calcium, Okay, and then my carbon, my oxygen, my hydrogen, and my sulfate. So if the left-hand side, I have all of this, my right-hand side also I must have all of this, calcium, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfate. Okay, so let's count. Calcium, I have one. Carbon, I have one. Oxygen, I have three. Hydrogen, I have two. And SO4, I have two. Okay. On my right-hand side, I have calcium, which is one. Carbon, which is one. Oxygen, which is three. How do I get three? Is two oxygen here, one oxygen here. So in total, I have three. Then I have two hydrogen and one sulfate. Now, all numbers are equal, so I will call it as balanced. Okay, now, just to recap, we have spoken about the compounds. We've spoken about the two different types of alkaline. I have one, which is my base and acid reaction. Base means it's a carbonate, and I have my uh, alkaline, which is my NaOH. So calcium carbonate will produce three different uh, compounds. If I'm talking about carbonates, I have a salt, I have a carbon dioxide, and I have hyd and I have water. Okay, but in the case of sodium hydroxide, which is the hydroxyl, I will get basically a salt and water, like the sodium, uh, like the sodium sulfate, and also water. Okay, now in the case of my uh, calcium carbonate, like I said, every ionic compound has a head and tail. So calcium 2 plus CO2 2 negative, and my uh, acid, I have H plus and SO4 2 negative. So the charges between the particular uh, compound will cancel out each other if they have the same charges. If not the same charges, then only you have the balancing out. So for my alkaline head and also my acid tail, I use a simple formula to get a salt. Alkaline head will be my calcium and my acid tail will be SO4 to negative, which I'll have a salt which comprises of two things, the alkaline head and acid tail, which in this case, I will get as calcium sulfate. Now, once I get my calcium sulfate, I already listed down there into my equation. And now I want to balance it out. So when I balance it out, I want to look at the number of elements on the left-hand side and my right-hand side should be the same. If it's not the same, then you have some balancing out. You will have coefficients there. Like the first example I've shown you between calcium carbonate and also nitric acid. Okay, nitric acid will have a little bit of balancing out that do is because the number of elements on the left hand side and right hand side are not balanced. Okay, now this is all I have to say for today. I hope this helps and clarify a few more things. And this chemical equation and equilibrium is going to help you a lot with your calculation, especially when you want to see the mole ratios, this is going to help you. So that's all from my end. Thank you for following Che Gurao. Have a nice day. Goodbye.